The Dallas Mavericks take on the Oklahoma City Thunder in the first preseason game for both these squads. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this is going to be one of the most interesting things for me to watch this season, is what is Chris Paul about to do? Because I have been calling Chris Paul an overrated point guard for years now. And I'm afraid that this might be the year that he gets exposed. Hopefully it's not. His team is very bad. It shouldn't be too hard to score 20 points a game on a team this bad. But I don't I don't know. I don't know. Him and Shy Alexander or something. The dude from the Clippers? Yeah, dude from the Clippers last year. Oh, they both played on the Clippers. That's funny. Anyways, this is their debut. Um, I was going to watch only their highlights, but it's only a two-minute video. That's a little short. That's a little short. So I'd rather just watch like the first half or whatever. And make it like a little five-minute video. Adam shooting three. And the first jumper good. That's a new wrinkle by Interesting. Interesting. Jr. Came over in that deal I ain't seen nobody talking about Steven Adams shooting threes. Dallas, I ain't seen nobody hyping that up. That looked like a meta three to Benz. <laughs> that looked a little bit more contested clutch. Oh, that's a for more formidable thrown into Benz. That's funny. Fluid starting lineup. Gallinari counters at the other. It's funny that last year I was saying that Gallinari is exactly who the Thunder needed. But when I was saying that, I was hoping that they didn't have to get rid of Paul George and Russell Westbrook. If they would have had Gallo with PG and Russell, it would have been nasty. I was saying that literally all last year. And then they end up getting Gallo, but no PG and Russell. <laughs> That's funny. Hardaway knocks down the three ball. So CP got some, I mean, the, team, the, the, the Thunder are really bad. When I when I say really bad, I don't mean really bad. Like, they're not Hornets, Bulls, you know what I mean? Like, they're not, they're not, they got Gallo, Steven Adams. Uh, what is that dude's name? Cloder, Shelter, Mulder, I don't know. Dude with the, where's Patchett is at? He lets the three fly. Of the coaches team, they say that he had one of the best summers in Chris Paul might be able to fly under the radar. He might be able to fly under he might be able to just do like 16, 18 points a game and nobody will really care, but nobody will be calling him trash. He might be able to fly under that radar. He might be able to fly under the radar. Syracuse commit and decided to try to oh, no. and T first mm. rocking the rim. Mm. NBA basketball in New York. Wow. Mm. I think if, if they had just lost Anthony Davis as Cleaver dunks it home from Curry. He might be able to fly in the right arm. I might be making a bigger deal out of it than it's actually going to be. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to say that I want to see Chris Paul get exposed because I don't. I don't really care either way. If he gets exposed, it don't make a difference to me either way. I'm not a Thunder fan. I'm not a CP3 fan. What the hell? I just, I'm just interested to see what happens. That's all. I'm interested. But it might be nothing. He might be able to do like he did in this game and just average like 16. You know what I'm saying? And nobody really says anything. You can't say he got exposed, but you can't say he's really helping that much either. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a good, good player. Baisley gonna let one fly from deep. Who? And he connects. Baisley, who is that? Broke off with the board. Shot clock resets to 14. Kleba. This one falls. When does poor Zingis come back? When did when when do they get Zingy back? Is Zingy ready to go at the beginning of the year or what? When did when does Zingy come back? Because I think I've seen him practicing a little bit. Zingy and Lucas will be nasty. If Zingy comes back 100, percent I'm hoping he come back 100. percent It looked like I feel like Zingy hasn't played a game in years. I feel like I ain't seen the Zingy highlight in years. That was easy. Yeah, Dallas nice. He's nice. He's nice. He's nice. Put him on the Lakers. Somehow get him on the Lakers, please. <laughs> Kid's nice, man. He's ready to win. He's just never on the right team. Home school. 
And Diablo schooling 48 last year to me was. I wonder how much Diablo makes a year. If they can do that again, I might be part of the reason he's never on a good team because he, he makes too much damn money. Right. How often are guys going to sit out? He's going the iron and finally comes out. Diallo on the break. And what it always seems like he's on a team like this. Like the, this is sort of like how the Clippers were a team that's like sort of good, but they don't really have anybody they got to pay a whole lot of money to, except for CP, obviously. CP's contract is insane. I don't know how he was able to finesse that contract. That's insane. Chris Paul's not even good. you all giving this man 40. Chris Paul's literally making more than everyone in the league, except for Stephen Curry, I think. That's insane, right? How dare y'all let him get that much money? <laughs> That's crazy. He finessing. I'm not even mad at him. Get as much as you possibly can. As you I'm more mad at y'all for giving him that much. Alright, is CP coming back in? He might not. He's kind of old, huh? He's not that. He's not that. He's not that, he's not that young, huh? Adriatic siege. Um, let's see. No. He doesn't. Okay. I didn't think so. He's kind of old. He's kind of old, yeah? Seven points. He's a little old. <laughs> He looked died though. He looked died. I mean, he looked died. He looked died. Come around some wide, come around screens, hit a few wide open threes. Like I guess, you know what I mean? Porzingis and Doncic sitting this one out, but they'll be playing tomorrow night. Oh, did he say both of them will be playing tomorrow night? Porzingis and Doncic sitting this one out, but they'll be playing tomorrow night. In Detroit, Rick Carlisle. They'll both be playing tomorrow night. That'll be lit. That'll be lit. I'll tune into that for sure. Damn, I completely forgot about Dallas having Porzingis and Luka. Yeah, this NBA year is going to be crazy, guys. Um, it's going to be crazy. And I'm not just saying that. Like, y'all see the, all the different scenarios at work here. We got MPJ playing last night. Don't let him get back to 100% like he used to be in high school. Oh my lord, that man was one of the best high school players I ever seen, boy. Before he got injured, y'all remember that? He was nasty. So yeah, this this is gonna be lit. And bo 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 bo, like it's gonna be a lot to look out for this year. A whole lot to look out for. Whole lot to look out for. I'm excited. This is gonna be the best NBA season they've had in a long time. No cap. All of the rookies, just everything. Yeah, this is lit. It's lit. It's lit right now. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, Subscribe if you're new. You don't want to miss out on any of the NBA uh, videos. We'll be doing them all. Um, and yeah, man, that, that'll that do it, I guess. Uh, let me know what other type of stuff you might want to see other than the highlights, of course. And I'm out of here. CP looked all right. He might fly under the radar. He might be able to do that. We'll see what happens. You guys let me know what you think is going to happen on CP3 in the comments. Maybe I'm maybe I overreact. Maybe he won't get exposed. But he's definitely not good. <laughs>